Iris and Walter, and Baby Rose, written by Elisa Hayden Guest. Iris's Big News. Chapter One. One autumn day, Iris's mother said, Iris, my love, I have some news to tell you. I'm going to have a baby. Really? asked Iris. Really? said her father. You're going to be a big sister. Wow, said Iris. Wait till I tell Walter. Walter, Walter, I'm going to be a big sister, Iris shouted. Boy, said Walter, you're lucky. We both are, said Iris. It's going to be so much fun. We'll get to push the baby in the carriage. We'll feed it a bottle. It'll be just like playing with a doll. Gosh, said Walter. Winter came, and Iris and Walter went sledding. They rode rain down quiet snowy paths. Some nights, Grandpa took them skating under the winter moon. At home, Iris's parents were busy getting ready for the new baby. When is that baby coming? asked Iris. In the spring, my Iris, said Iris's mother. When everything is green, my Iris, said Iris's father. Outside, the snow was falling and falling. Iris thought spring would never come. But it did. You're right. Chapter 2, Baby Rose. One spring day, when the wild roses were in bloom, Baby Rose was born. Hooray, said Iris's father. At last, said Iris's mother. How wonderful, said Grandpa. Oh, she looks just like a little doll, said Iris. The next day, Walter came over after school. Did you skip a page? I, did, I don't think I, oh, I did skip a page. Good job, Audrey. But Baby Rose did not act like a little doll. Baby Rose was very, very, very fussy. Baby Rose is no fun, said Iris. She will be, my Iris, said Iris's mother. Give her time, my Iris, said Iris's father. Baby Rose began to wail and wail and wail. Iris covered her ears. The next day, Walter came over after school. How is Baby Rose? he asked. Horrible, said Iris. Cry, cry, cry. That's all she does. I think she's cute, said Walter. Just then, Baby Rose opened her eyes. Then she opened her mouth. Gosh, you're not kidding, said Walter. I didn't know babies could be so loud. Baby Rose hurts my ears, said Iris. Hmm, I have an idea, said Walter. I'll be right back. And Walter was back in no time. Here, Iris, try these earmuffs, he said. Iris put on Walter's earmuffs. They felt warm and soft and fluffy. Now Baby Rose sounded far, far away. Wow, these earmuffs are terrific, said Iris. I'm never taking them off. Good idea, said Walter. Good idea. Jack the Fleet. Iris's day away. There was no getting around it. Baby Rose was a fuss pot. Day after day. Night after night, Baby Rose cried and fussed. Poor Baby Rose, said Iris's mother, rocking her in her arms. Poor little Rosie, said Iris's father, patting her on the back. But Iris was fed up. Baby Rose is a crabby cake. I don't want to be her big sister, she shouted. Baby Rose cried harder. Stop yelling, Iris said Iris's mother. That's way too loud, said Iris's father. But Iris didn't care. 
she stomped outside and slammed the door. Now, now, what's all this fuss about? asked Grandpa. I'm not fussy. She's the fuss pot, said Iris. Iris, do you know what you need? asked Grandpa. A new sister? asked Iris. A day away, said Grandpa. Will it be fun? asked Iris. Oh, yes, said Grandpa. Lots and lots and lots of fun. And Grandpa was right. Iris and Grandpa spun round and round in the Ferris wheel. They rolled the roller coaster once with their eyes open and once with their eyes closed. They threw darts, they won silly prizes, and they had lots and lots and lots of fun. By the time Iris and Grandpa got home, the stars were out and Baby Rose was fast asleep. Come here, my Iris, said Iris's mother. We've missed you, my Iris, said Iris's father. Iris curled up between her mother and her father. Her parents read her favorite books. They told her favorite stories. They sang her favorite songs. Iris was warm and cozy in her parents' arms. And soon, she fell fast asleep. <laughs> At least for a little while. Chapter 4. Baby Rose's Big Sister. Little by little, Baby Rose began to change. She fussed less and less. She ate more and more. She smiled a lot, especially at Iris. And before Iris knew it, she didn't need to wear Walter's earmuffs anymore. One autumn day, Iris's mother said, Iris, my love, why don't you take Baby Rose for a walk? What if she starts crying? asked Iris. Give her a bottle, said Iris's mother. Pat her back, said Iris's father. Sing her a song, said Grandpa. Do you want to go for a walk, Baby Rose? asked Iris. And Baby Rose gave Iris a big smile. So off they went. This is fun, said Iris. And halfway down the road, Baby Rose began to cry. Help, said Iris. What do I do? Baby Rose reached for her big sister. Iris picked her up. Baby Rose was soft and warm. Her head smelled sweet. It's okay, Rosie. I'm here, said Iris. Iris gave Baby Rose a bottle and patted her back and sang her a song. And by the time they got to Walter's house, Baby Rose was all smiles. Hey, Walter, called Iris. Come play with Baby Rose. It's fun being a big sister. And it was, at least some of the time. The end. Pull her hair.